Dr. Andrea Schnowski from Health and Horsepower, and I'm here today with Tori and, and Cameron. And today we are going to be teaching you how to dye eggs naturally without using any artificial dyes. A lot of kids tend to have issues with artificial dyes, and that can cause a lot of things from behavioral issues to digestive issues and allergies as well. So we are going to be going through our colors. Now, in order to make natural dye, it's a little bit different. So normally, when you use like artificial colorings, you would use hot water along with vinegar and your color. To make that, we're gonna be using actual food. So we're gonna start over here with, what's that, Tori? What is it? Blueberries. Blueberries. So blueberries are gonna make a kind of a purpley blue color. And then we're gonna be using hibiscus leaves. Um, these are just dried. These are gonna make more of a pink, purple, kind of a lavender color. And then we have sliced beets. Beets. So beets are like a kind of a hot pink, but they're going to give us a red color if we leave them in there for a short period of time. Um, we also have yellow onion skin. So we used onion for our lunch, so I used the peels and put them in here. We're going to be using that to make um, more of an orange color. And then surprisingly, we have this here, which is actually a mix of turmeric, ginger, and carrots. That's going to actually give us more of a yellow color. You can use turmeric by yourself if you have it in a powdered or dry form. You can use ginger by itself. You can use probably carrots by themselves as well. Um, if you were to mix this together with the onion skins, it probably would give you more of a rich orange color. And then we also have parsley, which is going to be our green color. Now, you can use, um, there's some other things you can use for green. Um, one other thing I don't have here is avocado skins can actually be used to make a peach color. And then we have red cabbage. Now red cabbage is actually a bit of a wild card today. So red cabbage we're going to make a science experiment with. Um, so red cabbage when you boil it will actually turn a blue color. Now when you mix it with vinegar it's going to be a different color. When you mix it with baking soda it's going to be another different color. So we are going to uh, mix it up with a little science experiment. We're going to do red cabbage with vinegar and red cabbage with baking soda. So uh, we're going to start by boiling our foods um, to make the dye along with some water. And then once they're done boiling, we have the color that we need. We are going to put those foods inside of these jars with a, a teaspoon, or I'm sorry, a tablespoon of vinegar in each of these. So we are going to, uh, we're going to start with our blueberries. So we're going to take our blueberries. Let's come on over here to the stove. dye after the red cabbage and I put a couple blueberries in there it's more of a green color but when you pour it through and then you actually look to see what's in the jar it's a completely different color with the vinegar and a completely different color with the baking soda so pretty cool to see the difference as we're playing with our science experiment today all right we got our dyes all done so the red cabbage and blueberries with baking soda is like a really dark blue color. The red cabbage with the vinegar is more of a reddish kind of pink color. The parsley really didn't turn out very well. I think next time when I do this, I'll probably use a combo of spinach and maybe broccoli to get that green color to it. So I doubt we're going to get more than just a very light color green from that parsley. And then we have the carrot ginger turmeric smoothie. Um, that's definitely like more of an orangey color um, or yellow color. And then right next to it, that's where we did the yellow onion with the carrot juice. And that's kind of more orange. They're pretty similar, so we'll see if we get any difference between those two. We've also got the beet juice. Um, I only added just a little bit of hot water to this one, so that's pretty much straight. I didn't do really any boiling with the beets, just the juice from it. 
We also have the hibiscus flower. Those are the dried flowers that I use. That's definitely more of a reddish color. And then we have the blueberry. I did add vinegar to it. If you don't add vinegar to it, it'll probably be more of like a, uh, like more of a violet or like a darker blue purple. So we'll see what comes out from this. I'm going to have Tori help me put the eggs in next. And then we will come back after the break and show you the colors. We're going to let those soak we're going to start with half an hour and see how they look, and then we'll probably stop in again in about an hour. All right, we're going to put our eggs in. Since some of these are still pretty hot, I'm going to have Tori hand me the eggs, and we're going to lower them down. Hand me one more. We're going to do two in this jar because it's pretty big. So that's our blueberries. One, no, no, one at a time. Put those down before you, set up, before you break them. Put everything down. Hand me one at a time, please. Thank you. Here's our hibiscus leaves. Woo! That's gonna go all over the counter. We've got our beet juice. Ooh, Ooh that's like a dark red pink. Be careful with that. All right, we got our yellow onion and carrot. We've got our carrot ginger turmeric. Careful. We've got our parsley, which I already mentioned it didn't really turn out that good. Yeah, um, it's not that green. And then we're gonna do the red cabbage and vinegar. Two in each one, Mom? Probably two, and then we can probably put one more. I wouldn't put any more in the parsley because it's probably not going to change any color. Yeah. This literally, if you look from this side, it looks green. Like, that is crazy. Green. So we're going to see what happens. Like, I think that red cabbage is going to turn out Mom, pretty cool. Don't put any more eggs all over. And that one? Yeah, let's do one more in the red cabbage with the vinegar. So the red cabbage and vinegar no is yeah, definitely pink. like a reddish color. And then, like I said, that red cabbage with the bit. Okay. We no yes, more. we're out of eggs. We did a whole dozen. You're right. We've got the red cabbage with the baking soda. It literally looks green. So those that's supposed to be more of a blue color. So we will see what happens when that finishes up. The parsley, yeah, definitely did not turn out well. I think next time we'll have to use some spinach and broccoli. We've got the carrot, ginger, and turmeric. The yellow onion and carrot the beet juice, the hibiscus leaves, and then the blueberry, which I probably should not have put the vinegar in it. So we'll see, that's gonna be an interesting color when it comes out. No more. All right, we're back and we have our eggs, which have been sitting in their dye for one hour. So we're gonna start with our blueberries mixed with vinegar. So I'm gonna take these out, I'm gonna give each of the girls one to dry off and we'll check out the colors. And you wanna make sure it's cooled down and not so hot. Well, obviously, if it's been yeah. sitting on the counter for an hour. So, these are going to be lighter in color. That's kind of like a grayish. It is still yeah. kind of warm. Well, yeah. So, if you wanted to leave these in the fridge overnight. Look, it's, it's purple on the napkin. Yeah, just don't bit. drop them. And then go ahead and put them in there when you're done. We're going to have to be It's a little purple on the napkin, if you see. We're going to have to be each careful other. not to. Okay. So next we have the hibiscus, which, so the dried leaves. This is the hibiscus. Oh, look at that. That's kind of like a green, like a green lavender color. Oh, the color's coming off. Yeah, so maybe, maybe don't dry it. Just put it away. I'm just going to. Don't dry it. Put it away. She said don't dry it. Okay. I just tapped it. So if we were to leave these in the fridge overnight, they would probably be a lot brighter. All right, here's the beet. This one has Ooh. two, like, pink. Hey, how come I don't get one? You do get one. You you just took turns. Stop arguing. I want to dry that pink one. Okay. It smells really bad. Beet juice. Ugh. All right, this is the yellow onion skin and the turmeric. Look at that Did one. this one have two? No, it just has one. It smells so bad in the kitchen. It smells the vinegar. Yeah, the vinegar. Alright. Alright, stop being dramatic. Yeah. My napkin's like. Alright. That's kind of like a light orange. It's like peeling. And then here is. Another orange. Is that what the one with the onion? Uh, no, that's the one with just the regular turmeric. Like the juice. Um. It's supposed to be more yellow, um, but. I don't think they're working. Those. So, Bro, look at my napkins. Yeah, those are kind of very similar. My napkin's more colorful than the eggs itself. So, I would say if you really wanted to get brighter colors with us, you would leave them in overnight. I'm in saying the that that would be like a cream color. No. 
You're if right. anything. Yeah. So the parsley really didn't give us much green color at all. I right. think next time we'd use spinach. All right. We have the That's science good. experiment. So this is the red yeah. cabbage yeah. with the vinegar. Red cabbage with the vinegar. So the red cabbage is like Short, a bluish wait, wait. color. What color do you think it will be? Gray. 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 How is it a different color? What was what was this one? Hold on. What was that? That was the, oh, that was the same as the um, hibiscus leaves. So the red oh. cabbage with the vinegar is very similar oh, to the hibiscus it's leaves. Like it's more like that one. It's kind of in between. This right. one's kind of lighter. Here you go, Cam. We got one more. Be in careful here. with that one because there might come off. There you go. Oh, what is it? It's like a basically like a sheet. It's coming off. Okay. So. Oh, <gasps> Oh yeah, you can probably put designs in it. So yeah, again, if you want more color, you can leave them in the fridge overnight. These ones. This is the first time we've done a natural dye. Normally we use. Actual, put put away. like food put coloring away. mixed with Stop hot water. That? Yeah, normally we just do food coloring, but we wanted to try something different. Okay, so now this was really interesting. When I boiled it in the pot, it was like a green color. When I poured it in here with the baking soda, it changed color. So what color eggs do you think we're going to get? Green. You think no, green? gray. I think gray. Corey, what do you think? I'm get, oh, there's this one. This color. Oh! Huh? It's, it's like more of this color. It's like a greenish. Lighter. Yeah. Oh, my napkin's breaking. There's another one for you. All right, that's it. Oh, it's so, all sorts of different things. Light. Yeah. So, we didn't really have good results with this, but it was interesting to try the different colors and the dyes. I think if we did this again, we'd probably leave them overnight in the fridge. The only thing is we just went grocery shopping, so we didn't have any room in the fridge because Tori wanted a watermelon, so watermelon's taking up the rest of the room in the fridge. So we will have to try these out and see if the eggs taste any different. I doubt it, I but like uh, I will say the dye is pretty cool. Yeah, but these are going to go in the fridge. These are my favorite. So the blueberries are your favorite? What about you, Tori? What's your favorite color of these? Actually, the, this might be... Was that the beet juice? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. They're they're all kind of. I think like a lot of the blues turned out the same. I think we should yeah. try those ones and these two next time. Yeah, we can do some more. Like I said, we can always do Mom, this again. But can we try one of these eggs today? Um, they're gonna have to go in the fridge for a little bit. Why? Because they were sitting in hot dye, so we're gonna let them stay in the fridge. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Health and horsepower. Our naturally dried eggs didn't quite turn out how we expected, but cool nonetheless. And I have to say, the red cabbage. Oh, we do Mixing with vinegar and baking soda for different colors. I kind of want to experiment with that one a little bit more. I almost wonder if the blueberry would have been a darker without the vinegar in it, too. We'll have to see. Maybe we'll try I it again. I think it'd be more purple without the vinegar. Without the vinegar? I think if you might be right. The, yeah. More of the dye. Because that one kind of turned out more grayish, so I wonder if we didn't put the vinegar in if it would be more blue or purple. Oh, yeah. Interesting. We'll have to think about it. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. back. So we decided to do a round two and try to color these eggs a little bit more. So the ones that were in the turmeric carrot ginger smoothie, I put into just turmeric and water. And let's take these out. Ooh, look at that. They're really bright orange. Yeah, they're like, it almost looks like if you take that off, they're actually more yellow. Yeah, they're a little bit more yellow. Mm-hmm. Let's put the other one. Yeah, they're like yellow with some specks. All right, let's go ahead and we'll check. I ended up taking avocado skins as well as the beets and boiled those whole. They look in there like they didn't change any colors. Oh, look at that. They're actually more of like a grayish. Yeah, they're like a green color. Yeah, kind of like a green gray. 